Where should you store your data? Your choice depends on a number of different factors. Keep watching as I help you decide which storage option is right for your specific use case. Hi, I'm Priyanka Vergadia, and this is GCP Sketchnote, where I pick a Google Cloud concept and give you a quick overview. In this video, let's look at a very commonly asked question. Out of all the storage options available to you, which one is right for your workflow or application? Typically, you will come across three types of storages, object store, block store, and file store. Google Cloud Storage is an object store which stores binary and object data, blobs or unstructured data. You would typically use it for any app, any type of data that you need to store for any amount of time. You can add data to it or retrieve data from it as often as needed. The object store has an ID, metadata, attributes, and the actual data. The metadata could include all sorts of things about security classification of the file, the applications that can access it, and other such things. For object store use cases, imagine applications that need data to be highly available and highly durable, such as streaming videos, serving images, documents, websites. It's also used for storing large amount of data for use cases such as genomics or data analytics. You can also use it for storing backups and archives for regulatory reasons. Replacing old physical tape records and moving them over to cloud storage is another use case. It is also widely used for disaster recovery because it takes literally no time to switch to a backup bucket to recover from a disaster. Persistent disk and local SSD are block storage options. They are integrated with Compute Engine VMs and Kubernetes Engine. With block storage, files are split into evenly sized blocks of data, each with its own address but with no additional information or metadata to provide more context to what that block of data is. Block storage can be directly accessed by the operating system as a mounted drive volume, which is not the case with object store. Persistent disk is block store for VMs, which offers a range of latency and performance options. I've covered persistent disk in details in another video, which I will link below. The use cases of persistent disks include disks for VMs, shared read-only data across multiple VMs. It is also used for rapid durable backups of running VMs and storage for databases since it offers really high performance. Local SSD is also block storage, but it is ephemeral in nature, so typically used for stateless workloads that require lowest latencies. The use cases could typically include flash-optimized databases, hot caching layers for analytics and scratch disks for any application, scale-out analytics, and media rendering. Now, file store. File store is a fully managed network attached storage, which is nothing but a shared file system for unstructured data. Pretty similar to what we have on our own computers or laptops. The difference being that multiple clients have the ability to share or access a single shared folder. When would you use file store? Well, typical use cases include media processing, electronics design, application migrations, web content management, life science, data analytics, and more. That was a quick overview of different storage options in Google Cloud. For more information, I have included links to the documentation below. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more cloud content. If you have suggestions on topics that you would like to see, put them in the comments below and I'll cover them in the upcoming episodes. Thank you, bye.